Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another video for Marvel Battle World Series 3, The Ultimate Armory. Uh, so this is one of the Mega Packs. I've also done videos with the regular Battle Balls, which have uh, two characters. So you have one regular character and one mystery character in the Thanos Stone. These are the Mega Packs, which will have six characters. Um, so currently, right now, they've done some for Series 1 and 2. You can go back and check out all those videos as well. Um... This set, they just have the one as of right now. Um, and it'll have classic vision in it. So every time you buy this, one of the six characters will always be vision. You'll get two Thanos stones, you get two mystery figures, and then you're going to get um, three other regular characters. So the equivalent of compared to a regular battle ball where you get one regular figure, one mystery. So you're going to get two of these, two mystery figures. Um, so that's the equivalent of two of them. So you'll additionally get one extra regular character and then, um, then one of the classic visions. So is it better to buy a bunch of these versus the other ones? Not necessarily. You're only going to get one extra figure out of it. And once you've started collecting all the ones that aren't in the Thanos stones, it's kind of pointless. They did change the box design though. The old ones used to being like a round blister pack. And you could go into the store and look on the bottom and see which Thanos stone it was. So you knew whether you needed that number or not. But clearly they fixed that so you can't do that anymore. Um, like I don't even think you could like, yeah, you can't even really, really play around with it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to open up three of these and we're going to see what we get. Um, if you're curious on how to play this or anything, you can definitely go back and check out my videos uh, that do show that. But just as a quick overview, in case this is your first one on this, um, basically each game is meant to be played in, independent of itself. You can buy this, you can buy one of the little battle balls, um, or any of the other sets like that, and you can play a game. Uh, the more packs you get together, either you can expand and play more stuff, mix and match, or you can add more players, either way. Um, but what you do is you, you have your hero cards, you have various stats. Um, and these are called your movers. And what you do is you start on one spot and then every turn you add more of these tiles to this battle world. Which have various enemies or traps or things like that on. And you have to roll dice to try and beat a certain score on here. Um, and then, so like, very hard to tell them this one. Some of these will say like plus nine or plus six. You gotta roll a die between the die roll and your matching stats. If you're all higher, you, you earn a point down there. And I'll just show Iron Man here on spot two. Um, or like Ogre here is on spot one. That means you're one step closer to defeating it. If you don't defeat it and you lose, you start putting these threat tokens on. When they get to three, then they win. You lose three, three locations, you lose the game. Um, if you win, I think, it depends on how many characters you have. Um, or how many, yeah, how many pieces you have, it tracks more and more how many you have to win. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting, it's a fun little game. And then the little mystery characters are part of the game as well. There's certain spots you'll, you'll eventually flip over that if you beat that area, you get to open up your mystery figures, and then now you get an extra figure. So if you're playing like the regular battle, just the battle ball has two characters, you start with one character, and then you get to that spot, you unlock the second character, which will help you beat uh, more locations quicker. Um, then, like this one, you actually, because you'll have six characters, you could have, um, you could start with two characters and try and find two more, or you could start with uh, each player, you have two players, each you guys could start with two characters, you could each try and find a mystery stone. So it just gives you more options. Alright, so set the box away. <clears throat> Um, then the only downside is that once you crack these little uh, eggs open, you can't really put the figure back inside. They did, however, for Series 2, um, have a set with a little Groot in it. Uh, so I have a video for that, if you want to check that one out. Which adds... Um, ooh, they stuck. They put a sticker on here. I don't like that. Uh, which adds plastic versions of those little uh, stones so that you can use them uh, repeatedly. So it's kind of like, if not, you can always just randomly select a card and play your character out. Alright, so here's Classic Vision's card. 
This is going to be a cool foil. It's going to have SP1 for special one. Um, there is a chase variant in this set, uh, which you'll clearly be able to see if you look at it. Um, instead of the, I think he's still called Classic Vision. I think his car is still the same. But instead of having his green and uh, gold color scheme, he has he's pure white and he's called Spectral, uh, which is based off of not only his form in the comic books, but also off the TV show, uh, like WandaVision. I'm going to set him up here to kind of watch us. All right, so Classic Vision has... Uh, he gets plus four in the mind areas, plus two in energy, zero to strength, zero to speed. Um, he's a strategist. After adding battles, Vision may add one extra battle and decrease the threat on any one battle. So adding battles is flipping those cards over to have new locations. Um, so if you use this one, he can add one extra, which, um, but decrease the threat. So if you have something that's about to uh, complete and lose, you could reduce it by adding one more. Or you could add one more if you want to try and look for something that might be easier to beat. Um, but it's also that uh, kind of yin and yang of it. Then if you flip the cards over, they're just black and white. And this is just shows so when you have multiple characters, you can flip your card face down to show that you've used that character that turn. So then this set is we're going to get a stack of pre-cards. So it's like a special bundle. That's a bundle of all your regular cards. We're going to get a token sheet, which will have our threat tokens. Um, our day-night token, which is a mechanic for that. And then we have these new armor tokens. This is brand new to the set. So certain characters will get... Uh, certain villains will get t plus 10 armor. Um, and then if you beat them, you can give them to your characters plus 3 to your die. So that's kind of fun. An extra little bonus. <clears throat> Comes with a, a rule book, of course. And they are also going to get <clears throat> these extra two mystery sheets. Um, these are your, what are in your uh, mystery packs. You don't know which characters they are. Um, and then you'll get a pack of figures. So, I'm not going to go through and open all these because I've already gotten all these characters in my battle ball. So, if you want to see more about them, you can look at them there. But we got a regular vision, Manphibian, and Winter Soldier. And I just don't want to empty them out and have have little guys running everywhere. Alright, but we're going to look at all the cards here. So we are going to get some Machine Men. These have the armor battle. So when added, cover the attack target number with one of them armor tokens. When hit, the first hero placed on the hit track takes the armor token. So normally 7 plus, you add just 10 plus to it, so instead you have to do extra damage. But then your character gets that bonus. Um, and then, now to fight him, you get a bonus for mind and energy. So if Vision fights on there, he can add 4 to his die roll. So Vision is going to be very well at trying to take these out. Um, here's a Thanos stone. This is what you have to beat to unlock the mystery characters. Uh, Baron Stark's henchman, who also have some... Um, armor and then some of these guys have day and night up here at the end of the turn you flip a token if it lands on the symbol that matches it they advance so every turn they're always there's a 50 50 chance everything's going to advance the threat so you have to try and beat as many as you can every turn uh thanos stone stark tower we have a buzzard uh from spider ham world uh hydra warriors the King Pig, Leviathan Tide, Terrible Terriers, Dire Wraiths, The Hood, The Tinkerer, King Pig's Crew, and then we have our character cards. We have Manphibian, who gains 4 to strength and 2 to speed, and Lurker. Manphibian may reroll attack, attacks, move. Maybe real attacks once if he did not move this turn. Ooh, I don't know why I was having trouble with it. Then we got a regular vision. So he also has the same stats, but he has a different uh, ability. It says phase. Vision may reroll attacks once at armor battles. And then we have the Winter Soldier, who has combat reflexes. When Winter Soldier attacks, he hits twice when he advances. 
when you attacks at speed battle, she advances twice. So that means she basically gets two wings off of that. We look at our checklist on the back here. I'm going to zoom back out a bit. So here's a list of all the characters. So the top row and half of the second row are common characters. Now common characters can be just like those three I just got. Which is where we found all of them. So, um, so they can, yeah, they can be... We have some common characters down here as well. So like Winter Soldier, Vision, we're both common. And Max Vivian up there. Uh, they can be just in them like random packs or like the loose figure in the battle ball or a couple of them can be in the mystery packs. Um, I believe the, I know for sure these two are uh, and Arno Stark and Captain Marvel are only in the Thanos balls. Most of the uh, rares which are these blue ones here are in the mystery balls um, and then finally all six of the ultra rare, which are just recolored versions of other ones, are only in the mystery balls. Um, and now to tell on what numbers they are, it's going to be... So I'm not going to open these because I've already had them. So like F2, well I'll open up one of these. So I know F2 is going to be Captain Marvel, because I have a checklist for these. So basically... The higher the number, the farther down in the list of characters it's going to be. So it's essentially like character one, two, three, four, all the way through, and then it goes, you know, this one, and then these guys, and then it starts off with these ones, and then it goes to these ones. Um, so as they get lower, lower in the list, so once we start getting up into the later teens and the twenties, that's when we start getting all these characters. So these guys are like late twenty fives to thirties. Uh, it's actually just 30 characters, so it's, you know, yeah, that's how I find these. So, like, number two should be Captain Marvel, if I'm correct. Um, and I'm not going to open up the Mystery Ball, because I can probably resell these without opening them. I will, however, open up the card, just to show you that it's a consistent number. So, here we have Captain Marvel. Um... If you want to see what she looks like in the thing, check out my Battle Ball videos because I already have her and I opened her up in that one. So she has, so usually characters have six total stacks. So she has two, two, two. Um, and then she has armor. She begins the game with one armored token. And then there's a little armored border. And then Amplify. Captain Marvel adds plus five instead of plus three when making armored attacks. So that was hers. I'm going to put this back in there. And the idea is actually supposed to be is, um, so that way when you're playing the game the first time, ooh, I got a mystery, I don't know which one. Um, and the last thing we didn't show off in here is we are also going to get a collector die, which will have a star for instant wins and a Thanos symbol for instant fails. Um, and that just has to deal with um, uh, the original set was based on a lot more Thanos stuff. That is not what I'm looking for. Collection. Yeah. So number nine is going to be, um, Iron Man 2029. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'd be number nine. I was just double checking to make sure I was saying that correctly. All right. So now we've seen what we got there. Let's crack. We'll just leave him sit up there and let's crack open box number two. Now I'm only missing about four characters, so I'm not gonna probably see a. I doubt I'm gonna see the ones I'm missing. You know, this is going to have all the same stuff, so we're going to get another vision card, so I'm going to have three copies of these special visions. So, like, these I might be able to, like, get rid of to people that didn't, couldn't find these decks or these boxes or don't want to spend to buy everything. Like, I just need the one chase. I bought all the other stuff. 
All right, instructions, tokens. So let's see what our characters are. Okay. So we are going to get a fire claw, another mag babying, and a Groot. I think of the commons I am missing, I am missing Hulkbuster and Spider Gwen. And then I'm missing, other than that, I'm missing uh, some of the ultra rares. But let's see what cards we got. And I am missing like two cards, so I don't remember off the top of my head which ones they are. Uh, Thanos Stone, Amazon Forest. Monster Metropolis, some more <clears throat> Stark Henchmen, um, and I showed this off in the Battle Ball, this is actually kind of a neat thing though, so you can see how <clears throat> we had Stark Henchmen in the last one, there's only two of them, so then this version has a bunch more in the back, and it has some different symbols, so there are some of these guys that do repeat several times, um, same thing like we originally had this Machine Man, you can see some guys, shadows in the back. And then this one doesn't have any. And they have different symbols on them. So it's a neat way for them to repeat the same characters multiple times. But um, they're kind of more like henchmen or uh, you know, like army type characters. And then they have more of the unique ones like Baron Stark. Uh, and they have Baron Zebro. Some more Hydra Wars. There's a bunch more in the back there. We have a King Pink from Technopolis. More Terrible Terriers. We have the Beyonder. Some Spider Slayers. Leviathan Mother. King Pink's crew. And then our heroes. We have Fire Claw. Fiery Claws. Fire Claw and nearby heroes may reroll attacks once at battles that take one hit to win. So he's going to take that easy win. Um, Groot. Um, who's armored, and then regrow. Groot doesn't discard his armor token if his armor attack hits. And then another Manphibian. Alright, then who are our mystery ones? We have set number one, which was Arneo Stark. And then number 22, which... Is Miss Marvel in her action pose? So we got Miss Marvel there with her fist up. She has an ambition. They have a regular Miss Marvel, and we just got the rare Miss Marvel there. So we're looking for the later twenties. I went for like twenty eight, um, like twenty eight, twenty six, twenty seven, that era. So yeah, we got number one, and again number twenty two. Another die. And another vision. So vision's gonna have some duplicate buddies up here. We're gonna hang on. Alright, we got one more box. We got the Vision Army. Oh darn, no new characters unfortunately for me. Alright, we're gonna have Ogre, another Fire Claw, and then we have the regular Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. So nothing new for me unfortunately, but that's the L. That is part of the whole stuff being a mystery pack is um you're gonna open it up and you're not gonna know until you actually open it but the figures are easier to get than these cards because you can go online like ebay and stuff like that and people will post all the figures you never see these available so i don't have any idea how i'm supposed to get the ones i'm missing um, famous was Technopolis. I'm oh, sorry, that was the Green Gobbler, Spider Hands Nemesis. Uh, there we have another Baron Stark Henchman, since so I just one guy down there. Another Machine Man, Chandu the Mystic. I have no idea who that is. Hydra Warriors, another uh, King Pig, 
Some more Leviathan Kaige. Shocker. Dire Wraiths. Spider Slayers. Thanos Stone is Guardian Thrones. You'll always get a Thanos Stone for each stone you have. So in the Battle Balls, you'll always get one. This one, you'll always get two. So these cards, you're going to get duplicates over and over. Because I think there's only five or six of them. So the more and more sets, you're going to always... You're going you're gonna to run over. Get get so many duplicates of them. Alright, so here I have Miss Marvel. Who has Flexible. And Miss Marvel is at a Strength Battle. The attack number becomes 7. So she can drop that Strength down. Although, be careful. Because she might move it up as well. Another Fire Claw. Who we saw. And then Orgo. Uh, world Domination. When Orgo attacks, add a battle to Battle World. So he gets higher stats than everybody else. Usually they all have uh, up to six. He has nine, but he adds a battle every time. So he he needs to basically be taking out something every single time. All right, then our two mystery ones. If I get one that's interesting, maybe I'll crack it open just so we can see what it looks like. But we got number 20, who is a Groot with a shield. So that will be that Groot there. So you have regular Groot up at the top and then Groot down there with a shield. And we got number 26, which is going to be one that I needed. So, all right, we did a crack one of these suckers open. Yeah, so they're kind of like, uh, I don't know, not quite styrofoam. I'm not really sure what you'd call them. But what we got is we got Captain Marvel in her platinum form. So let's open up her card. That's awesome. At least I got one new one out of this. Um, plus the vision, of course. Um, so there's Captain Marvel. She's Platinum Captain Marvel. Uh, and we saw our, the other card before. Um, so she has Super Armor. So she has 2 2 2 and Amplify. So Super Armor begins the game with two armored tokens. Um, and then she has Captain Edge 5 and Staff 3 when making armor attacks. So exact same abilities, exact same stats. The only difference is she gets that Super Armor. Um, so yeah, that's kind of different, because, uh, the first, the first series, um, had Infinity characters who had boosted stats, um, so that there's, there's ultra rare where Infinity Stone colors clear, and they all had boosted stats, like an extra, like, two points, I think, um, so it kind of made it worth getting them for that reason. The second series, Treachery and Twilight, had... Um, Twilight characters, and Twilight just gave them an extra ability, kind of like Super Armor. I forgot exactly what it did. The Twilight... Um, ah, Twilight says, uh, so they have, so the second game introduced... Duos, so characters gain bonuses from working together a lot of the time. And the dual one lets you add bonuses, extra bonuses to the characters. Then this one adds the armor ability and it gives you an extra armor. So whether that one extra armor is really worth it, uh, to start off the game, I mean, it could help you win right away. Um, but I guess if you have the choice between if you're going to play regular Captain Marvel or if you have the Platinum version, you may as well use the Platinum versions. And have the bonuses. That's essentially what these ultra rares are. Um, if you have them, you may as well play it the regular, the more powerful versions. So, all right, that is what we have for this game. That is the Marvel Battle World Battle Pack. Just so, if you're curious on what's in this, if it's worth getting, um, pick up. We try to complete the collection. Pick up at least one to get Vision. Um, Otherwise, you could probably stick with the Battle Balls. So this is about $20. Battle Balls are about 6 or $7 each. So two of them is $14. Um, so even if they're 7 bucks a piece. I mean, that's two of them are $14. Um, and then another one should be 21 for three of them. So you're in three of them, now you're getting three, 
three characters, which you're getting in here, um, plus you're getting three Thanos stones. So you may, basically in this, you're essentially paying a dollar less to trade one of the Thanos stone mystery characters for Vision. So buying one box is perfectly fine. Buying more than one is kind of pointless because your, your rarity isn't any better. Um, and if you're like, why did you buy three then? Because I ordered them online, so I couldn't see if there's a chase figure in them. Um, so if you can see them in the store, and you see the chase, you'll see it right on the cover. You can decide if you want to pick it up or not. I have a little sticker even that says it's a chase. Uh, then you can pick up one of each. Um, otherwise, I would stick to just getting the battle balls. Um, worst case is, though, if you can't find the battle balls, there's not enough. This is a dollar less, and you're only getting... You know, one less mystery figure, but 